Hello everyone and welcome back again to another interesting episode of Karen's in the Wild. Take a look. In this first clip, we've got a Karen at her finest at a grocery store. Take a look at this. Just a Karen. And you are breaking the law, sir. What am I breaking? Animals are not permitted. Where does it say that? Excuse me? Where does it say that? Excuse me? Huh? Whoa. Did you all notice the lady that is directly in front of the cashier? Secretly, he's dropping. <laughs> that was hilarious. Up next, you will not believe the reason why a customer at Walmart got the cops called on him. Take a look at this drama. They're saying I'm scaring the associate. Here we go. Yes, I haven't done anything yes, wrong. No, sir. But you end up scaring the associate and they kind of want you to, like, because you scared him, kind of want you out. What? So, so I got to leave this. Uh, what did I do, bro? You ended up getting really close to an associate, like almost a hard one over on you. Like, you saw it on camera. Show me the camera. I can if you want to come back to my office. Yeah, come on, bro. Let's go. I got to let you know you can't record in the office because there is information. There. Man. Then you know what's happening. I haven't done anything wrong. I didn't say anything to anybody. I know. But I'm scaring the associate. You ended up scaring the associate, my boss. What, which associate? What did I do? The male associate in electronics. What did I do to him? He was taking a picture of one of the uh, electronics items over there because he's into. Uh, and I came inventory. too close to him. And you got really close to him. You just, like, leaned over him and everything. We have it on camera. Okay, well, let's see. Mm. Yeah, let's see, bro. Yeah. Come Either on, way, man. like, they, they, like, he wants to have you trespassed and I got you. I haven't done anything to anybody, bro. I'm shopping for what I need. I understand. I understand. But like I said, that's just how it is. Yeah, that racist, bro. No. Did I say anything to him? You ended up scaring him, man. Did I say anything to him? Did I touch him? Did I do anything to anybody? As far as I know, no, you didn't. That's why they called. That's why they called me up and they said, "Hey, just watch this guy." And, I'll, and they were like, "Hey," but he got really close. I got close. And so if you shopping and I'm me. shopping, and it's something that I'm looking at. Okay. Hey, this this could be something I want. I you might want like, this. You were like this. You were like this, like that. You got really close. See how close I am to you? That's annoying, right? Yeah. Well, that's that's not annoying. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a public it's, store. It's, if you want, you might be looking at something I'm looking at. You might be interested in this. This might be the last thing, bro. Nice if you're looking at it and I'm looking at it, you don't want it, but I want it. Man, come on, bro. That's bull. I understand, man. But I got to do my job, you know? Man, that's bull. Bro, come on. Bro. I ain't say nothing to nobody. Did I touch him? Did I touch him? Did I brush up against him? No, boss, man. As far as I know, I just, uh, I know what I've been told. That's bull. That's bull. Man. I ain't say nothing to nobody. I ain't do nothing to nobody, man. I understand, bro. Shop and mind my business, man. I ain't do nothing to nobody, bro. I don't say nothing to nobody, man. I'm trying to get what I need and get up out of here, bro. How you doing? I got a brother that's a sheriff, man. Mm -hmm. I, I have a brother that's a sheriff. So, I'm not trying to bother anybody. So they want to make a report and all that? No, no, they just want to trespass. So trespass is just basically it's just, hey, can't come back here. They trying to mark me off from coming here ever again. Not ever again for a period of about two years. Two years? Yeah. I haven't done anything, bro. Hey, look, I didn't see any cameras. I don't know, but I, I know what I'm Bro, I, I can see if I was stealing or really came and pushed them or said something. Mm -hmm. to, oh, man, that's I, bull but oh. at the end of the day, man, the state of Texas, a business has the right to refuse and trespass anybody for any reason that they deem fit. They've deemed it enough to, to trespass you, okay? So, and just kind of, it's a piece of paper, pretty much, and says, hey, just don't come back to the store. For so they're telling me not to come back to the store. Walmart on Kirk and Dahl. I haven't done anything to anybody. I haven't done anything to anybody. I can't argue about it or nothing, bro. They, they saying they just going to kick me out of the store for two years. Where's the employee that said that? Why can't he come to me and say, hey, bro, you, you, I felt uncomfortable. Don't do that again. No. And it's over with. He, went to he get the sheriff, the, uh, the constable. Man, come on, bro. What kind of is that? He felt like I came too close to him, so I'm trespassed now. What kind of is that? I'm not sure, man, but we're going to do everything within the law on our end. That's not that's 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 not the law on y'all end. Y'all get down to the bottom of it. Y'all get him to come talk to me. 
he'll come tell me, hey, man, you got too close to me over there. And I'll tell him, hey, I apologize. I mean, I'm mean, i sorry, I didn't mean that. We don't do that. We just come to answer the, the call for service, and that's the end of it. So he he called y'all. So y'all weren't y'all y'all weren't here. He called y'all to come up here. Yeah. Otherwise, and he felt uncomfortable. He called y'all to come up here and said he was uncomfortable. At Walmart called us up here. I don't think he called. Are you up serious? Here. Yeah. Are you serious? Do you really think we'd be here talking to you if I was Bro, they had somebody got killed in this parking lot a year ago. Mm. Got into it with the police and all. That, man. Mm. I ain't did nothing to nobody. I know better than to come up in here and mess up. I'm black. I'm a black male in America. I know better than to mess up anywhere I go. You think I'm going to come here and mess with somebody? I have no idea. Well, come on. Bro. First time meeting, like I said, I ain't seen no cameras, bro. That's, this that's, is what Walmart said. Man, that's BS, guy, dog. Man. That's BS. I, I ain't said nothing to them. Nobody. I ain't no woman, no male here. Whenever I go out in public, I respect everybody, bro. I hear you. Hey, we'll you give you the I just talked to the lawyer. The loss prevention uh, personnel right here. I did advise him and would be out there today. So okay. You are fine. You go about your day. You purchase your, whatever you need. To I can. Do. I can get what I need. Whatever you need. To. Okay. So you enjoy your day. Okay. okay. All right. You Am I banned for two years and all that? There was no criminal offense. Okay. No can you talk to the employee and, and no, let him know that I didn't mean any harm yeah. to nobody, bro? Yeah, I'm gonna go do that for you. Okay. Yeah. There's I'm, nothing coming that has happened here. Um, like I said, sometimes people see things in the wrong way. Yeah, tell him, man, I didn't I didn't say nothing to him. I don't mean no harm to nobody, bro. I know. Okay. I said, like, when, I, like, uh, when they told me about it, I thought it was a weird situation for the way he described it and everything. And I saw it on camera. Yeah. He may have blew it up out of proportion, but I'm just doing my job, you know? I understand. When they, they called me up, I, I got to go do my thing, you know? Yeah, I understand. And I said, bro, I ain't mean him no harm. Tell him I apologize if I offended him. I'll let him know. Let him know I, I apologize and I didn't mean to get too close to him. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. good to be anything, man. All right, tell him I'm sorry, man. Tell him I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, though, man. No, nah, tell him I'm sorry. If getting too close to an associate is ground for trespassing, then I believe the cops and the other employee should be trespassed as well for getting too close to the customer. Just saying. Please take your time to watch this clip of a drama that happened at a restaurant between an employee and a family member of another employee. Take a look. Well, it don't matter. He, he's a man. He's not going to disrespect you. But the, I don't work here, but I'm going to tell you in a good way. The only thing you're going to be able to do... No, my love. Look, I'm talking. I'm talking really nice. Listen, I'm just giving you an advice. Do you want to take this outside? No. Huh? Because I don't care about your advice. You're not going to come and try to take. No, I'm not going to take nothing. I'm just saving you. Who are you saving me from? Because the bitch want to be my right now. All you want to do is call the cops. All you want to do is call the cops. All you want to do is call the cops. You disrespect him twice already. Twice. You're not his boss. I disrespect him. Twice. You're not his boss. She's I the boss. She don't say. I disrespect You're not his boss. You, you call him. You, you call. You call him. But yeah, but he don't. He it's don't. He joke. doesn't mess with ladies. It's a joke. He don't. No, he don't want to joke with you. He don't like you. Do he don't like do you. Do not be joking around here with everybody. Yeah, but not with you. But then as soon as somebody says something to him, I know where he's going. Not with you. He doesn't like you. Don't even look at him. He don't like me. That's not my problem. I advised you already. I'm telling you. Tell me his girl to call no, I'm not gonna let him come oh, oh, okay. I'm not gonna let him go. Oh, okay. I, have, okay. I promise okay. you, okay. you're gonna be okay. handicapped if she calls. Okay. Okay. I promise you. So maybe handicapped right now? No, me, no, not me. So I promise right you, if my daughter gets so over here, right you're not gonna be able to I do mean, nothing. He know your daughter. He's better than everybody who comes to the It don't matter. It don't matter. Oh, Still, I promise you. Oh, I just warn you. Oh, I warn you. Mess with him again. If you want to say who I'm gonna dress me.
to check me over. Wow. Now, that was wild. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Imagine having a Karen or a Kevin as your neighbor, disrupting workers who were working on your property. Take a look at this. taking a picture of my beautiful truck go ahead that's the street this is not the property but yeah you see how this uh, see how this is the road you see how it buckles in like this this was done on purpose this is actually oh, my property actual that's property. actually not even my, not even my the easement. city road this, no, it's not. the city street wow Going around in circles. Am I crazy? Am I crazy here? No, nah, some people are worse scared. For yeah, so. like I don't know, man. Like what? Am I? Am I crazy mm -hmm. for what? trying to work? Some people think, and in, in fact, it's uh, actually I'm become law. Listen, I'm just uh, going to say no, it the way it is. Some people believe that construction zones should be quieted on one day a week. All right, man. Sunday's for you, man. Sunday's for the neighbors. For it's in the books. It's a law. They don't really you know call the sheriff, it. but because we're on the... Uh, really we're allowed to be here. Uncle Jamie. Uncle Jamie. Uncle Jamie. Uncle Jamie. Uncle Jamie. Uncle Jamie. Right. But see, the owner's allowed to be on the property, and my husband and his brother are on the trust, making them owners and they're allowed to be here they're and work allowed on to the be property. on the property but this is a construction zone and they are not allowed they are allowed, are allowed to work, to work on, on it, it. Okay. we've already talked to the sheriff today on okay. the way over here okay. you're more than welcome to call them and ask I them will. yourself I, I will i'll bring up the statue <laughs> go and ahead and you can that. go yeah. ahead and call them from your own home yep because at this point you're causing a problem you're distract you're disrupting us doing our job you don't have to be closer to me you can back up you well, don't need to take right. steps closer the to me open you know i mean that's I'm, wonderful but okay, you don't need well, to get closer to me i don't doesn't matter look it yeah. right, we're but gonna, it does. we can argue all you want and yeah, i will get the statue and i'll and i'll go call ahead. the sheriff go if i have it. to go you guys can otherwise you can be just reasonable because and not work on sunday take care of it if this was a if, if this was already your home i could actually hire nick to work on a sunday on my house because, because it's a home owner. it's not a construction project doesn't matter go it's ahead okay i'm going to do that right. they're gonna go ahead and do I their job you hanging uh they're gonna go back and do their well. job yep. because they're, they're getting be like, paid because they asked that i don't care i do goodbye i do <laughs> goodbye you go bye bye your I home's right there Go, go be your stay-at-home husband self and yeah. go do, work on your garden because it no, looks like your leaves tired. are falling you know, onto our property. And that's a problem. Yeah. Maybe this side that's on ours needs to be trimmed up a bit. We can pay for that. You can't but the, do that. We, but the side that's on ours, we can. We've already you, checked that. I, no, you can't. We just don't want to piss I, there's you off. There's a statue for that well, as well. Oh, really? Yeah, see that palm tree right there? We I was going to cut that down because it's cut almost all on, on our side Go ahead, cut but you on can't do that i can't even cut half of that tree okay bye 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 Shoot. yeah see ya you, is tammy home maybe she she needs she to come home. get her leash for you Damn! let me go knock on the door she needs her leash let me go knock on her door wow so which of the neighbor's side are you on on this one let me know in the comment section. Up next, we've got a Karen and a Kevin disrespecting a retail worker, but then they get what they deserve. Take a look.
I'm staying until the next year. stay here and just stop talking. <laughs> Got a lot of nerve. You're not a manager? How did you get to be a manager? You ready, sir? If I do something yeah. like that, I'm going to do money. I'm going to have my say. I'd like it to be as uncomfortable in here for every customer that walks in as it's been uncomfortable for us. So if there's police in here because they're mouthy and disrespectful people, then everyone in the store should be. Oh, yeah, so, because I'm scared. Would you like a right sample? Now, is that okay? I'm at a place of business. I'm scared for my life right now. Is that okay? Because you made a threat and I have it recorded where you said you were You raised smack your her. hand. And then you raised your hand at her and I'm going to get mad. Okay, that's I'm not. That's not. Saying, you have me scared in this store of a place of business. So take that how you want. Okay. It's not that okay. serious over a phone. It's the way you can talk to people. Both people were wrong in a situation yes, and it escalated. Well. But no, continue, but, but she did say, are you ready for the number? Then you kind of went off. Sometimes it's just best to let it go. Well, well she said, are you ready for the number? And then you went off. I have it. On, I recorded it. I did. She said, are you ready? Are you ready for the number? It was, number? are you ready? In a very disrespectful After the fourth time, I'd have done it too because you didn't respond. You have a good, would you like something? I know you need some not sugar. Even one of my samples, sorry. Well, they need some sweetness. No, okay. The sweetness is when the police get here because I'm scared. Okay. Yeah, I am scared. You raised your arm, your fist, like. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Black people? Oh, black my God. What are, go, go are you serious? Black people. People like you need to be. People like you need to be. People like you need to be. For no reason. You racist white. People like you should be. My kids should never target on their back. You should. How dare you speak about anybody like that? You white racist. That is so wrong. You are the reason why racism is alive today. You bleed the same colors, my daughter and every one of those employees. You are not any better than them. So get your nose out the Police get here. I haven't recorded where he raised his hand and tried to hit her. So I'm about to press charges. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't do racism. I don't do it at all. Give me the keys for. I'm so glad that those customers went off on Karen and Kevin for disrespecting their retail worker. I do not understand why some people tend to start stuff but cannot handle the consequences. Unbelievable. Please take your time to watch this clip of a Karen and a Kevin confronting minors because they were playing ball on the street. Take a look. Okay, you're not going to catch us again. That's why I'm telling you to go. Okay. Do you live here? That's fine. Neither one of them live here. I know they don't. Who, li who live lives here. in this house right here? I do. Who does? Me. Okay, so none of you have in this house, right? And now we're cussing again, not minors. So Correct. why are you over here? Cussing at minors? Because you guys are retarded. Over here. And now we're How retarded are you? What? And now we're going Do you, you think retarded. you're tough? Are you, how old are you? Do you think you guys are tough? No, no but we you? know the law. No, I know the law. Know the <laughs> what is the law? What do you mean? What His is the dad law? is a sheriff. Well, your dad's oh, a sheriff, so that? this is okay? Who's your dad? Yeah, because you're lying. Oh, yeah. His dad actually is the sheriff. Is it? Yeah. You go ahead and keep taping over there because when they're taping over there, too. Okay, big deal. You're throwing stuff down the street, which could cause that little one to walk out and somebody hits Oh, yeah, because she wasn't even out there. Okay, where's the other one? Where's, uh... And we made sure there was no sidewalk. No, no, no. The one was walking right down the street. I watched it. And they were riding both heads. I know. He warned them before they hit it, too. So, I mean. They warned them before they okay. hit it. So, no that's more. okay. No more. Stay, stay you just here. Said no more. Okay. I'm saying no more. Okay. okay. That doesn't change my mind anyway. But, yeah. I, I, I know it doesn't change mom, my mind. And I would okay. That's good, stop. good for you. That's enough. You're not my parents, though. So. You're right. That's you're not. not. You're, you're, you're lucky. Yeah, so why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, no, because I'm stay trying over here. to. <laughs> stop making. Here, you're coming over here. You guys are touching us. You guys just made a complete big deal out of out of what? A ball rolling on the street. No, not one ball. 
Okay. Okay, two balls. Two. This is not a one-time deal. Because you guys were doing it, and then they would go down the street. And they would go down the street and get it. Why are you so right there? He's Cameron. He's got a camera on all this. We can be here if we want to. You can be here. Yeah. You're right. This is public. That's private. Exactly. After watching this clip, do you think the adults' actions were justified? Let me know what you think in the comment section. In this next clip, we've got a Kevin who threatened to beat up a door-to-door -door sales guy. You will not believe this. Take a look. No. I'm going to give you a good deal. Okay. To get out of my yard. Uh, for the last time. I won't ask you again. I'm not in your yard, sir. Y yes, you are. The fence line, that fence don't mean Okay. Um, it, she'll tell you the same thing. Is she home right now? She'll tell you to get the f out of Okay. I was going to talk to her next, but. <clears throat> Baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Crack me up. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Were you, were you in the Army? Uh, I, we, give out, we give out military discounts. I don't need your discounts. Get the f out of your yard. Okay. You have a great day, sir. Bless you. <laughs> no, no need to use profanity, man. Like, it's not that deep. Are you going to do it? <laughs> okay. All right, man. You have a good day. What are people's issues, for goodness sakes? The guy in the pool, all he had to say to the sales guy was, I'm not interested in the promotion. And then move on. But no, he kept on going to the extent that he threatened to beat him up. That was unbelievable. In this next clip, who do you think is in the wrong? Or who do you think is the Karen? Take a look. So wait a minute, did you take him off of there to put her on there? No, no, as in... Because um... he was on there at first, and I see y'all walk up. So, so I'm confused. Yes, yeah. I think, from my understanding, he was playing on it, and then he was done. And then he, he wasn't. I seen him playing on it the whole time. Okay. And then you telling him now to wait. So I'm a little confused. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I was, and maybe I was confused. I thought that he I seen him playing on it the whole time. Yeah. And I kept telling him to be careful because the little baby was there. Yeah. So you heard me yelling, be careful. Yeah. But we, you're not going to stop him from playing with that. Yeah. When he was already playing with it. You get what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. I was just trying to encourage her to let him have it until he was done. And then I thought he was done, but maybe he wasn't because I thought yeah, he, cause he was Yeah, because he was it, he was playing with it, and I just didn't want him to hit her. Yeah, I understand. And I but now that. I hear you telling him to wait. No, he shouldn't have to wait because he was already playing with it. Okay. You guys were over there when we came. You was way over there, and he came over here to play with this. So we're not going to stop him from playing with that because you want to let her play with it. That's not what we gonna do, okay? okay? I understand that and you know what, Emma, can we get off and let Kai have his time? No, no, we're not gonna push Kai off, okay? He was playing with it first and I misunderstood that he was done with it, mm -hmm. but it sounds like he's not done with it, okay? So Miss Emma, can we please get off? Hold on, excuse me. All right. I just, I wanna just get on there like five minutes. Okay. Now, Bubs, you will. Sh you hear me? Yep. Okay, you will share, but we're not gonna stop you from playing with it. If I know, you know when you were playing with it, and they were all the way over there. But you will share. You hear me? So I'm gonna time you. You have two minutes, and you're gonna go play with something else. Okay. Okay. After watching the clip. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. Finally, on this episode of Karen's in the Wild, we've got a black-faced Karen, our target. Take a look. You're a horrible person. You're literally doing blackface yeah. me later. in the middle yeah. of the store. Lester Holt did whiteface. Nobody said... Where's your pride section? I need to know!
we're past. Oh, I thought they were celebrating this and they took our flag forever. No, I was wrong. My bad. I don't shop at Target. I just take pictures. Join me. Let's post it on my Facebook, please. My Facebook friends love it. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. A few moments later. All right, drive the later. Thank me later. You don't know. Oh, 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 you is this even real? Someone please make this make sense.